ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to a man whose great learning and veneration for truth are only exceeded by his high moral character and majestic presence. I refer in these general terms to myself. I was born modest, but it wore off. I hate introductions, but if they are the custom, I wish to do it myself. That way I can get in all the facts. Because I was introduced once in Red Dog, California, by a rich, fat lawyer with his hands in his pockets thusly. Well, uh, I don't know what to think about this here Mark Twain, except I hear he's a humorist who's really funny. And I did some checking. He ain't been in the penitentiary. Well, thank you. Well, I was struck speechless by this complimentary thunderbolt. Never had I heard a compliment so beautifully phrased or so richly deserved. But I suggest to you, ladies and gentlemen, we had a rare creature on that stage than a humorist who was really funny. We had a lawyer with his hands in his own pockets. Well, I was born November 30th, 1835, in the almost invisible village of Florida, Missouri. It was a small village of a hundred people, so I increased the population by one percent. I had some of the, it's the greatest achievement some of the men in history have ever done for a town. And when I was very young, I was sickly and lived on allopathic medicines. I asked my mother about this in old age. I said, when I was quite young, you were quite worried about me. She said, oh, yes. And I said, afraid I wouldn't live. And she said, no, afraid you would. Well, my family had a great deal of trouble with me, but I think they enjoyed it.